my channel today's video is going to be my week one check-in for the month of september if you have not already seen my september budget video i'll leave it in the cards up above but to start things off we have to set up our weekly check-in pages so let's get some washi to start with i'm going to be using this beautiful leaf washi to match the budget i kind of like it when my weekly check-in and my budget match just because they are side by side so these cats are absolutely gorgeous they are from bella planella if you do not know i am a pr girl for her so i have a discount code linked in the description box down below i put that on screen with oh it will do that was my fault i think i put it on a little bit squint Let's get our weekly check-in script. I use my tweezers to get it off, maybe. I'm always so scared that I rip the text just because it is so delicate. But let's just, if I put the Y down first, I don't really care if it's going up or down. <laughs> it's in the middle that's fine weekly check-in super okay so we'll put down week one Ooh. oh i always seem to get it stuck to me i don't know how i manage it always get it stuck to myself perfect so that's that down let me just check how many categories i am tracking this month so i have petrol food and then i'll track eating out stickers and unbudgeted i will track five so we need five let's just I'll leave you to zoom in. So one, two, three, four, five. So right here is where I need to put the next one. Maybe I should have had it in my hand first. That would have helped. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll put week two down. There is only four weeks in September. So that may mean I can get it all on one page. Super. Two, three, four, five. Then we've got week. Week three. Yeah, I'll have enough room to put it down. And then week four. Two, three, four, five. Right here. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five. So we do have some room at the bottom. So it is my thin washi. So let's put this glitter at the bottom just to break it up. Super. So that is my weekly check-in page all set up. So I'm going to zoom you in so that we can do week one together. So where is my ruler? And I will do my lines first. I always, I wonder if I can flip it just so that I have my right hand. Super. 
so I actually had quite a good week this week there's not been too much spending going on which is good um, if you haven't seen my budget video you would know that we have been we're struggling a bit this month money wise just because I did not get a full pay due to me starting a new job so I only got half a pay but we are trying to work it to work everything out and um, we will get there in the end but things just are a little bit tight this month so we're really trying to stick within our budget so one of my first categories is petrol so we have petrol we then have food so that is our grocery shop or if I maybe run out of something and I go to the corner shop or something like that, that's going to be in that category. I then have my eating out category. So if we get a takeaway or a McDonald's, things like that. We have significantly lowered that one this month just because, again, we don't have much money, so we're trying to limit luxuries such as that. My next category is my sticker category. Um, as I said in my budget video, I am using my miscellaneous income to cover this category. So however much money I make from selling things or my body shop, that's what goes towards my sticker. So I have, I've set £100, so I'm hoping that I can, that's my goal to reach with my miscellaneous income. But if I get more, then that's great and I can spend more. But that is kind of roughly where that money's coming from. And then last but not least, we do have unbudgeted. I'm hoping for not a lot of unbudgeted expenses. But you never know. So let's flip to our monthly view. So we have paid our rent and council tax i'm going to tick those off straight away this month i'm doing something a little bit different with my colors just because i have different categories so yellow is still going to be my petrol blue or purple is going to be for food blue eating out pink for stickers and i'm going to use red for unbudgeted and other so if you saw in my budget if i flipped it i had more categories than just what i am tracking so i had things such as insurance my dad's birthday and um, my nephew's birthday my eyebrows things like that i'm going to put on a red sticker just so i can track that i did spend these things as well in my monthly view so i hope that makes sense so let's just get right on into what I spent. So on the first, we did go food shopping. So that would be purple. And we went to Aldi. And spent £34. So that's actually less than what we typically spend. We I budget £70 a week for food shop, but... It's one of those weeks where we had lot we'd spent a lot of money the week before because we'd run out of lots of things, a uh, cupboard things like pastas and rice. Um, so this week we didn't actually need much to get our full week's worth of shopping. So that was great. Also on the first, I ordered my subscription box from Little Thought Store. I can't wait for it to come. It is the Halloween edition. And that was £34 as well. I got a bigger planner. You got to choose which size of sticker album you got. Planner, sorry, sticker album. So I did opt for the bigger one just so I could put kits in it. Um, I think she said they should fit kits or most kits. So I'm looking forward to that. So definitely look out for that video in the future. So I've got that um, for the first. Moving on to the second, I did order my dad's birthday present. We ordered him a top from Lacoste. 
I'm just going to put Dad's B Day. And that was £70. It was a lot of money, but my dad does so much for me and my fiance, so we decided to treat him a bit and get him the top that he had he wanted. So we got that then. He was super excited about it, which is great to see um, for things like that. It make, kind of makes it all worthwhile. Flipping over to the third, we have one expense, which again will be in a red, and it was insurance. I had to pay for what we had used this month so far for my old car before we sold it and we're waiting on a new one coming. So that was £20.10. £20 so I put pop that up here. Next we have the fourth and we have two expenses. So we have a food one. So I'm just going to put shop. Because I can't remember what shop we went to to get this but we ended up picking something up some alcohol up and just kind of munchies so that was 15 pounds for the fourth and then i do have an unbudgeted expense this month um, i forgot about a subscription that i was subscribed to it was for a uh, feminine products i thought i'd cancelled it but i obviously haven't so it has charged me for this month um, and that's four pound forty it's not very much but it was something that i was not expecting so i definitely need to cancel that today for next month so that it doesn't come i think what i did was i had upped it not to come every month, but come maybe every two or every three, and I've just forgotten about it. So I think that's why I hadn't kind of accounted for it. Next, we have the fifth. Again, I have not unbudgeted, but I have my nails that I got done. This day, eh, I had budgeted for it, and that was £22. I think actually my pen maybe is running out, maybe it's because I'm writing on here. No, I think my pen's running out. <laughs> and then also we went out for my friend's birthday. But again, I had a category for that as well. And that was £65, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So we ended up actually having a meal, um, something to eat and then some drinks. And then we ended up going back to his house to spend the rest of the night so we had alcohol already so that's why it was not as much it was good just to get out and to see people obviously we are only two households so we would allowed up to three in scotland so we were sticking within the rules we actually sat practically two meters apart wasn't a uh, intentional but we ended up just sitting obviously the way seats are set out in houses so yeah that was that so that is everything so far we are going shopping today but i'll just include that in next week's check-in yeah i'll just include it in next week's check-in and i'll probably do that um every week even though i'm saying to the six it's only if we spend maybe something other than our shop i'll just kind of include it in mondays um because that makes more sense to me but let's Flip back over just quickly. We have paid our electric. Yes, our gas hasn't came out yet. I think it's just running late, so we have done that. So let's now flip to our weekly check-in. Now that we have all of our spending in our monthly view. So for petrol, we have spent zero, as we do not have a car. So that's fine. Total remaining. We have a hundred pounds. Which I think should be absolutely fine. I'm not going to track per week for petrol. 
need to get stickers on and budgeted i'm just going to track it for food so for food if we flip to our monthly view we have one for 34 pounds which is aldi so i'll tick that off and then we have one um for 15 pounds and that is that for food so altogether we have spent 49 pounds this week which means we are under budget of what I budgeted us weekly. We I budgeted £70. So that's quite good that we maybe have some extra money left over. I budgeted a total for the month of £280. Um, as you can see. So we still have £231 remaining. So that means that per week, since we have three weeks left, we have £77, which should do us. That should be absolutely fine for that. In terms of eating out, we have nothing, no expenses for that. That would be our blue category. So that is super. I'm hoping that maybe we can save it up and go out for lunch or dinner one day. So I only budgeted £40. Um, as you can see right here, I only budgeted £40 for eating out this month. So it should maybe get us a lunch or a dinner. Next we have my sticker category. So that is only one. And it was for Little Thought Store. I am planning on making two orders next week. One for Bella Planella and one for Lily Blossom Designs. I PR for both of them. So I have to pick up my PR packs. Um, so I'm super excited for that. I'm looking to get some Christmas and Halloween kits to do me for October and December. Which is super. They are, look amazing. I can't wait to pick them up. So definitely check out Lily Blossom Designs and Bella Planella. Be linked to the description box below, especially for their Halloween and their Christmas kits. They are gorgeous. They are absolutely beautiful. But only one expense, and that was for my Little Thought Store subscription box. And that was for £34. And as I said, I have budgeted £100. So that means that I still have £66 remaining for the month. Super. And then unbudgeted we flip back so we only had one proper unbudgeted expense and that was for Cala Lily which is £4.40 so it's a bit upsetting that that came out when I am trying not to spend as much but things happen and that's life I can't find my red pen. Oh, found it. <laughs> Get my red pen out so that I can put that down as that is over budget. So that is how my first week is looking. As I said, I've had quite a good week. Uh, we haven't spent a lot. But I do quickly just want to address... The little ones in red that are not unbudgeted, but I have budgeted them in, my bud in here. So the first one is my dad's birthday, which was for £70. So I'm going to tick it off. And then as you can see, that's exactly what I budgeted. So I'm just going to write that down for actual, so that I know that I have spent that. Next, we have insurance i'm going to leave that blank until the end of the month because i think we'll have another insurance payment coming out so i don't want to put it in my budget just yet so i'll leave it blank just now but we also have drinks for 65 and nails for 22 so those again were budgeted for so we have nails and i had budgeted 22 and that's exactly what i spent and then I budgeted 65 for drinks and that's what we spent. We found it a lot easier to lift the money when we went out last night and only have £65 in my purse. It kind of helped us stay on budget with that. So those two, those three are 
done, which is super. We're having a great first week. Absolutely great first week. Um, it's not like us, but I'm just going to zoom you out and we can check out my monthly view again. I'm not sure. If, I don't think we've got any no spend days. But again, my budget's completely changed this, this month and I am budgeting for both the expenses that I would pay and which my fiancé would pay. So we're kind of getting used to it. We are spending on every day, but we also had bills come out. But as I said, that's life. And we're trying to get used to everything changing. But it is getting a lot better. And I'm super proud of us for our first week. I hope that it continues in the upcoming weeks. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Very quickly, I just want to say, if you have not seen my monthly view set up, I'll leave it in the cards up above here and then also you can check out my notes page set up as well. I'm hoping to get this video up today that I'm filming this, which is Sunday the 6th. Um, both this weekly check-in and my notes page set up may go up on the same day, but I'll give you a quick little peek. If you have not seen that video, go and check that out. I'm absolutely loving this month and adding all the little foil aspects. I definitely need to pick up some good foil scripts. So I may try my two favourite shops or if you have any suggestions, please let me know. I'm pretty sure these ones are Harriet Wright signs. So maybe I'll pick up a few because I love the little day off and then the happy birthday ones. Those are really nice. So if you know, if you can get them in Harriet Wright designs as a full sheet, uh, please comment down below and let me know. But that is that for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out. Comment down below. And if you have not already, subscribe to this channel. My goal for the end of September is to reach 270 subscribers. So I'm hoping we can get there. Please help me out. <laughs> that would be great. But thank you all again for watching this video. And I'll see you in my next one. Have a magical day, guys. Bye.